guys, welcome to the practice today. We're gonna focus a little bit more on alignment for our yoga. So maybe finding where our hips are positioned, finding where our shoulders are positioned, and just focusing a little bit more on how we can align our body and go further into the yoga pose. So we're gonna keep it really simple as we warm up today. We're just gonna do a seated position and you can do this with legs crossed or any comfortable seat that you feel more centered in. So I want you just to come down to the floor, move your hips around from side to side. You have two hip bones that are right under your seat, right? And you're just going to get those hip bones flush on the floor. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna roll back the shoulders a few times. I like to really get in there and lift them up to the ears. Do an inhale and exhale, roll them down. So the hips and shoulders are just in a pretty nice centered place. So if you wanna join with me, we're gonna rest your hands on your lap. Close your eyes. And then we're gonna inhale and try to find your center. And then we're gonna exhale and do the same. Try to find your center. Inhale, allow your center body to come up in your seat. So elevating the back, elevating and lifting your chest up slightly. Lifting up of your chin up slightly. Let's try to do that one more time. Inhale, and finding your center, and exhale, just finding your center. So you're about to go into your yoga practice. And this is going to be a practice about really connecting into your body. So let's just begin right here. Continuing in your nice, comfortable, easy seat. And finding your center. And set in a nice intention for your practice today. Very good. So let's inhale and stretch the arms up. And we'll lift them over your head and bring those palms together into touch. And then exhale, go right down to the heart center and bring those thumbs right up against your chest bone. And then one more time, inhale, sweeping the arms up, lifting them over the head, palms together, touch, and we're just gonna go right down through the heart center. So let's come onto your hands and your knees and go to your child's pose. So now your shoulders are gonna lay right over your hands. So let's bring those knees out just a little bit wider with your toes, those big toes together touch. We'll lay down your child's pose. So I want you to try to place your forehead down on the floor. Get a nice long stretch in those arms and your fingertips should be spread wide, but not overly or tensed out stretch, just a nice normal distance of the fingers, just kind of gripping the mat. And then nice and slowly, we're gonna roll back up into a tabletop pose. So we're gonna press down into every finger that we have here. Press into your palms, press into your hands. So this is our setup for our first downward facing dog today. So I want you to just come up on your hands and your feet. So perfect uh, distance 
And our downward facing dog is just with our uh, hands and feet just kind of evenly placed. Sometimes I like to bring the feet in a little bit closer together in the downward facing dog and try to get the feet almost flat. You don't have to, but you can bring the feet in just a little bit. And then the hands just slightly out wider than your shoulders. So you're working a nice stretch here in your spine, stretching the back. Now we're gonna take the hip bones that we sat up on and we're gonna lift them and straight up in the air. So really get into that down dog and really try to draw in the abdominals, draw in the belly. should feel a little strengthening out in the shoulders and the upper body and the arms. Now we're going to walk the legs forward up to your feet. As we do this, we're going to lift yourself, your body up halfway and do a flat back pose. So let's roll back the shoulders, lengthen out the spine, lengthen out the neck, see if you can get um, a feeling of length, a resetting in your spine. Pull back the shoulders, and then we're gonna soften down in the knees, soften down the belly, the chest, and fold forward. So exhale, back in that forward fold stretch. Let's try to lift the hips up a little higher so you feel a little more of a stretch along the back of your legs. Now bend the knees again, try to get your hands down flat on the floor, lift the left leg up and lunge it back, lower down the knee. Let's slowly begin to come up here. So I find that most of the time when we're wobbling, trying to find the center, is because our lunge is more like a tightrope. So try to make some nice space and wide distance in your hips and bring your seat down low in that low lunge. If you feel centered, maybe you leave your toes uncurled, toenails pressed down, and focus around your body's hips here. And press down into your front leg. You can keep the hands down or stretch the arms up. Head is lifted wherever you're at. Try lifting your chest. And exhale, we're gonna lower your hands down to the floor. Now watch here, I'm gonna pull the right hip back. That left hip starts to roll back there too. And I wanna work on a slight external rotation on the right side here. So don't worry about just trying to bring your upper body down in this stretch. What we're doing is targeting that right hamstring, pulling back the hips, lengthening out your leg, but as well working on the alignment on your hips, and then lengthening out the back. And let's see if we can stretch down deep into this uh, half split pose for a moment. We'll take a nice few rounds of yogic breathing. Inhale, exhale. We always want to work on the breath here too. Inhale, and then exhale. Good. Let's work into a gentle flow here. Stepping back into a downward facing dog. So back where we were, hands and feet. Inhale, then lower the knees. Exhale, then lower down your chest and your chin to the floor. Press into the toes. Inhale, come up into a backward bend. You can do baby cobra. Exhale, pressing back up onto hands and knees to a child's pose and back into downward facing dog. Finding the center again. Let's see if we find your breath back. Inhale. And exhale. Let's bring the legs forward again, top of the mat. We'll send it into a flat back. Again, rolling back the shoulders. Hips are moving back. See if you can straighten your legs and then forward fold, letting everything go. 
We'll lift the right leg, lunge it back, and change doing the next side here on an exhalation, tapping down the knee, finding your center, finding your pose in the low lunge. And let's see if we can come up a little bit here. Make sure hips, right, kind of finding the center. Avoiding that wobbling low lunge. It's a great pose to do for the hips. So find your center, raise your upper body, arms up, and you can press into the back toes if you want to here. Inhale, let's find the center. Exhale, find your center. And one more. Inhale, find the center. Exhale, find the center. And then we're going to lower down the arms and hands and do the back of the leg stretch. So focusing on an external rotation on that left hip. A length stretching back along the left leg. And let's see, we're going to plant down that left foot again, stepping up to the top of your mat and do a flat back. And then down, forward folding, lower the neck. Inhale to rise up to our first standing pose here. Let the arms stretch up. And exhale, let the arms and hands try to lower down. Roll the shoulders back a few times. Good. So now we're going to focus on some of our alignment in our yoga sun salutation. So notice and be aware of your hips. Your shoulders here, try to feel like they're centered and squared off. We're going to take your fingers, interlace them, press the palms up so the shoulder blades just kind of come out here a little bit and start to reach those palms up. And then exhale, reach down to the toes. Let's see if you can keep your arms straight here. Forward fold, drop the head and neck. Right foot steps back, lower the knee. Take a breath in, hips are squared, shoulders are squared here, then press back into your downward facing dog. Raise those hips up, inhale through the nose, exhale out, and then lower down the knees, chest, chin to the floor, or you can just kind of roll on down into that cobra. And then lift your hips back up into downward facing dog, Lunge the right foot between the hands, tap down the knee, try to get the hips and shoulders squared. Step up to the top of the mat, lower down the head and neck, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower the arms down to the sides. Let's do that again. Reach the palms forward. Exhale, breath, reach back and then fold. Left foot steps back. I want you to try to lunge it, tap down the knee, Inhale, look up, exhale, step back into a downward facing dog, inhale, exhale, and tap down the knees, lower down, inhale, low cobra, or high cobra, come on up, exhale, downward facing dog, lunge the left foot between the hands, right knee down, step to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, standing pose. Exhale, arms down to the sides. Roll back the shoulders. Check back in with your stance, with the mountain pose. Good. Now come up to the top of your mat for tree pose. We're going to lift up your left leg. Really important here that we keep the standing leg tight and strong and keeping the hips as squared off as we can here. Because we're about to do something more than tree. We can go ahead and extend the arms up for an exalted tree. 
And then we're going to keep standing on the right leg. Whoop. And bring the left leg and kick it back to a warrior three position. Now work on keeping your hips squared. You're going to want to bring the left hip up a little bit, but try to lower that left hip down. Hip square, kick that leg back if you need to. Just try to get the hands down on the floor now and go into a standing split. So hands on the floor if you can or on blocks. And then you're going to pull your head down towards the knee. When you need to, just set your left foot back into a warrior one pose. So press down into the legs, press down to the knee. Take a wider stance if you need to. Your hips here are going to be sort of angled out to the side. And that's fine. We're going to press down to the right foot. Right knee is bent. Engage that left leg. And just keep trying to drive that left hip forward at that angle that I just talked about. And then raise the arms up into warrior one. Take a breath in. Lower down the hands, step back, and take your flow. Both hips rise up. Inhale. Exhale, and lower on down to cobra pose. Inhale. Exhale to a downward facing dog. Lift up your right foot. Try to keep at first the hips squared. And then notice what it feels like, just kind of here, moving the knee, rolling that hip around. Just to loosen it up, move that hip around, loosen it. And then step the right foot through, step the left leg through, and then fold. So just working back up to the top of the mat, let's bring the arms up, reach the back, inhale. And then exhale, lowering down the arms, lowering down the hands. Let's stand on your left leg and do another tree pose. And standing leg is strong. We're going to keep it like that as best you can. The hips are squared. Try to focus and concentrate. And then let's try to bring those arms up into an exalted tree. if you're just beginning this journey in this pose and you're just finding your center, right? It's really important here that we keep that right hip squared and down. Stretch. If you need to lower down the hands, that's fine. Standing split pose. So catch yourself. Stay on that left leg if you can, keeping that right hip uh, and left hip squared and the right leg up and then drawing yourself down. Forehead down towards the knee and then landing lightly back. We're going to go into a warrior one pose position. So if you want to take a wider step back, bend the left leg. Again, we're going to be on an angle at this side, but we want a really strong internal rotation on that right hip as we bend the left leg. We're going to do a warrior one with the arms up. So it's the full expression. Whoops. Looks like my power went out. And then lowering down the hands, stepping back, and doing a downward facing dog. Luckily, it came back up. So we're going to take a vinyasa for that. Whoops. And cobra. And downward facing dog. Take a deep breath. We're going to walk the hands and the feet in together. And just do a nice, well-deserved forward fold position. So we have the head down, the shoulders down, and you can loosen up the neck and the shoulders by just trying to move the head around a couple circles. And we're going to lift up 
halfway to reset the spine. And then here I want you to see if you can get your hands laced around the lower back and folding forward again. So we'll stretch into the shoulders. You might feel that in the upper part of your back. Try to keep those hands down together. And then bring the hands down onto the lower back, forward fold position, and relax the head and neck. Step back into downward facing dog. Lift up the left leg, open the knee, and just try to circle that hip around a couple times. Loosen it up. Feels nice, just not worry about the alignment sometimes, just to go into the feeling. And then straighten out the legs, step the left leg to the top, step the right leg up to me, inhale into a flat back, exhale down to a forward fold, rising up, inhale, arms down to the sides, exhale. So we're gonna take those hands around the lower back again, Step the left foot back like you're going into a warrior one position again. And we'll work on a new pose called humble warrior. So your feet and legs stay in that warrior one position. So right hips here, they're slightly off. We're drawing that left hip in. We're going to do that with the shoulders this time. So I want you to try to square off the shoulders. Keep your hands laced around the lower back. And then we're going to start to hinge forward, taking the forehead and head forward, going down. So only go as sort of deep as you can go into this pose. When you can stay there, try to begin lifting those arms up, taking the humble warrior. So you are working a nice, stretching and strengthening in the hips and also we're doing this in the shoulders try to press down and come up slowly really strong control here go into a warrior one and then send your arms out to a wide warrior two couple alignments here if you want to straighten that leg that's fine try to feel your hips just moving around a little bit here and you're getting right into the center so external rotation on that left hip and bending the right knee you're doing a lot on the hips here we're trying to get low and trying to get right in the center so if you can see I'm trying to just get that left hand right above the left foot right hand above the right foot warrior two is a really strong powerful posture where we, we work on a lot of strengthening out here and flip that right hand up reach it up into a peaceful warrior try to bend into the right leg as you're sweeping that right arm up take your hands down to the top of the mat lift up the left heel at the same time step on back to a down dog inhale you know what to do. You can lower on down. Chest to the floor and then up into cobra. Lifting back on up into downward facing. Lift up the right leg, bend the knee, open the hip up a couple times. And then crunch that right knee in, step it through. Lift the left leg, step it up to me to a fold. Inhale, come up, lengthen the back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, let's rise up, arch back. And then taking the arms down to the sides. Interlace the fingers around your lower back. So we want to get that pretty tight grip that we do here. And then lift the right foot, step it back with your toes angled. So doing the warrior one. And try to check your stance and your balance here. 
So you're gonna get those shoulders stacked. We're gonna do the same thing here, starting to hinge through to get into that humble warrior pose. And feel your breath. This is a pretty challenging pose that we are doing, but it's really, really good for you as well too. Work the hips, work into the shoulders. Deep inhale, deep exhale, slowly come on up here. So we're gonna pass through the warrior one, open up into the warrior two. So I wanna do the same thing here, just to work on the alignment piece for the warrior two. Just straightening the leg, moving the hips around, finding where that center is, find where you feel the most solid, and then let's bend at the left leg, stretch the arms and do a warrior two. Inhale, take the left arm up, do a peaceful warrior. Bend into the left leg, and then take the hands down to the top of the mat, lift the right heel, step on back to a downward facing dog. Exhale, then again, lower down your body towards the mat. Low cobra, or up to a high cobra. Exhale, into a downward facing dog. And then lower down the knees, come into a tabletop pose. Take a moment, sit back here, relax. So the hips are gonna be a pretty centered part of this next exercise that we do, the cat and cow. You've probably done it before. It's a really effective way to move the spine around, but the spine right at the base is the hips. So everything is connected. So as we move the spine, we're also gonna allow the hips to be sort of like the main point of what we're moving in and out from. So start to just try to tweak some of that movement. You're also working some of the abdominal region here too. So every time that you're drawing up, like you're going into cat, try to draw in the stomach. And you can lower down the head and do a cat. So you're getting into a little more extreme version of the pose. And then you're going to drop the belly on down, drop the hips, right? That lowers down two, and slowly lift up the head, doing the cat lift position, or the cow pose. Let's try to get into that again. Exhale, draw in the stomach, round your back, do a cat position, and then inhale. Cat lift position. So you're finding that center, you're finding the hips just kind of taking you back and forth. Inhale, open up, exhale, drawing in. So let's do that for one more big, pretty deep round. Inhale, exhale. Now we're going to go into a little strengthening down the forearms. And feel everything connected in here. We're going to take it back and do a forearm plank. Five. Breathe in. Four. Three. Two. One. Lower down the knees and the hips to sphinx position. So everything is connected. We really work together to hold our body up in any any pose, but just like the forearm plank, you hold the body up. So relax here, take a moment, and do a sphinx pose. And we're going to do that again, taking the knees up, doing the forearm plank. Five, four, three, two, one, and then dropping down the knees. Lowering into a sphinx. Good. And then come on up into your hands and your knees. 
So we'll take a child's pose. Again, just gently sitting up back. You come up into a seat, cross your legs, place the bottoms of your feet in. A lot of alignment that we'll do on the floor sitting down. So just try to move the head, the hips. Rest back the shoulders. Now try to keep your back straight and we're gonna hinge forward. You can grab the feet if you can reach it, but try to keep that back straight. Then push the hips back, that's gonna bring you down, right? A little bit more if you can imagine pushing back the hips, but we're still keeping that spine straight because we want to target the hips and then stretch into the hips and the lower back rather than just saying, okay, I'm just going to drop the head down, right? We lose a lot of the stretch there, but try to, right, stay really lifted and then start to come down a little bit more. Take a breath and then a little bit more. Great pose to work on any time of day where you're just feeling tight, where you're just feeling like you want to let um, loose a little bit and go into the pose. Let's do that with the right leg out and the left foot in. Same thing here. Now with one leg out, one foot in, what we're going to do is take your left side and the left shoulder, left hip and left shoulder, and just try to slightly bring it in so that we're in alignment with this leg that's extended out. The same thing here, try to start with the back straight instead of like muscling in and pushing and tightening everything up. Just try to get sometimes into that alignment first. Inhale, and then you're stretching into that lower back space. See if you can hinge forward. Hold and exhale. Good, and take it back up. Do a little nice heart opener here. Inhale, exhale. We'll switch the legs. Left leg out, right foot in. Again, this side we want to draw in that right shoulder. That right hip comes in just slightly, keeping that alignment in where we're just trying to get uh, straight with this left leg or the leg that's extended. Inhale, straighten up the back and then exhale, go directly down into your left leg. So we'll start a little differently with the hips moving around. We're at a pretty nice extension here. So we're just going to keep on extending and lifting the arms. And then rather than creating a, like a circle shape where we're rounding and reaching, we're going to try to create a closing in shape, a closing in right through the hips. So you're just trying to reach forward and bring the belly down over the thighs and then the chest down and then just kind of taking the head into a sort of relaxed place for a moment and then fold. Really feeling that stretch. Take it a little bit deeper by breathing and then slowly taking yourself back up on 
comes back, a little bit of that heart opener will do. And then we're going to lay down onto the back. Nice work today. Give yourself a squeeze with those knees coming in. And squeeze tight. Bring the knees in together if you can. Grab onto your arms or the hands and squeeze. And then put your feet down on the floor. Palms down on the floor too. So lift up the right leg. Lift your right heel up towards the sky with your toes pointing back towards you. And then go ahead, you're going to open the right knee to the side and cross the right ankle over the left knee, making a figure four shape. Now you can use your hands here and press down into the right knee to, to already feel this nice stretch by pressing that right knee down. If you want to go a little bit further, lift up the left leg. Thread the right arm through the legs and grab the back of your left leg. Interlace your fingers. So you're still trying to press that right knee forward. If you're taking that right knee in towards your face, you're sort of losing a little bit of that stretch. So feel like you want to go about 70, 75% deep into the stretch here. We're going to be mindful and press that right knee down. Good, and then let it go. Release. I'm going to take that right foot down. Right foot's going to stay down, press into your hands, lift up the left heel. And then take that left heel, press it up, and then open the left knee out to the side. Lower your left ankle on the right knee, making that figure four. And then you can try to press that left knee down. So let's take that hip opener again. We're going to lift up the right leg, thread the left arm between the legs, and grab the back of the right. Pigeon pose on the back. And what's nice about being on the back for these poses is we give a chance for the, the spine to really ground down and rest, but also our alignment here, right? We're just working with gravity, so our, our upper body should be heavy and nice alignment. You can pull back those shoulders as you're pulling in the leg. And then let it go. All right? Push down to those hands. Pull down the shoulders from your ears. Line up your fingertips with your heels, and we're going to lift yourself up into bridge pose position. So a couple of our cues here is we're going to squeeze the butt. Squeeze your thighs in together. Notice that slight tension that you're doing by tensing up and squeezing in. You're finding more mobility and more movement up. So hold that bridge. Five, four, three, two. Lowering down from that bridge. We're going to hug the knees in towards yourself. And just try to give yourself a really nice hug here. Squeeze the knees. Try to keep the knees together. You can use your right arm, and we're going to guide the knees and legs over towards your right side for a twist. I like to use that arm just to sort of guide the legs down. And then you can begin opening up that left arm and that inside of that left shoulder and begin twisting yourself over to the left side. So you're going to lead the knees down towards the right and then upper body stretches out to the left. Take a breath in and take a breath out. You're sort of stacking that left hip over the right hip and then we're going to come back up and change. Hugging the knees in. Keep the knees together. Again, you can use your left arm with your left hand to guide those legs down. And let's begin trying to stretch your right arm out. 
and stretch and twist over to the right side. center position. One last hug here. Try to bring the shoulders up, lift your forehead towards the knees, and then let everything go. Let your legs go. Let your feet come down. Let your arms come down. Take a deep breath. Exhale. And then just try to adjust maybe yourself where you're lifting the chest up slightly, drawing the shoulders from the ears. And then I want you to just try letting everything go. Right? All the alignment that we did, all the positions to go deeper into the poses. I want you to just try to be here in this moment. Let everything go. Let go of any alignment that you think you should be in. And feel the sensations of your body just being able to be here in this moment. Being in here right now in this body. Just the way it is. And not worrying about in any way of any more alignment. where everything should be. So just take a couple of moments here. Continue relaxing your body. And most importantly, try to relax your mind. And try to rest your mind. Feel that relaxation from your neck trickle down to your shoulders, down your arms, and down your legs, and just creating a nice, heavy, relaxed sensation. Start to wiggle around the fingers and toes when you're ready. Take a nice stretch with the arms. Roll over to your side. 
Stand up in a nice, easy seat position. So after focusing a little bit on alignment and going deeper into poses, right, sometimes we feel more aligned in our body. So I hope you feel refreshed, rejuvenated. I appreciate you spending this time in your practice today. Namaste.